What's going on guys? It's Vulcan and today we are taking a look at how to get exalted with that nice 7th legion. Now, the nice thing is, Horde, you can also watch this video for Honorbound. It's literally just the reverse. So basically take whatever I say, apply it to the other continent, and that's it. Okay, so how do we get exalted with the 7th legion? All right, so I will have you know, I was able to get exalted status in a little over... I'll say a week and a half. That's about what it was. A week and a half, closer to two weeks probably, of just playing and going about my daily business. So, main sources of reputation. Now, they've added a couple since we've started. But first off, this is your biggest one, guys, and that is your world quests. So, never miss an alliance war effort because it is a big deal. That gets you 1,500 reputation, guys. And you also want to make sure you go out and you do every single world quest. That includes the cooking ones. That includes the pet battles. That includes these random ones that I hate the Kaladori agent because it's... Mm, oof, 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 oof. Okay, so go ahead and do all of those. Now, one thing to note, the little rare ones that have a little dragon emblem around them do not give you extra reputation, so don't bank on that that one's going to give you anything other than the 75. Okay, so make sure you guys go through and do all those. That's key. Done. This includes the mining ones, any sort of professional ones. So you're, you're going to be spending a ton of time in Zandalar, a lot of time. But, like I said, capitalize on those, go through their world quests. Now, the next thing you can do are island expeditions, okay? Now, island expeditions, if you're in Boralus, are over here, Flynn Fairwind. Now, our boy Flynn, aka the Jack Sparrow, has things called island expeditions. Island expeditions are very straightforward, guys. You go onto these islands, you have to beat computerized, if you're not in war mode, you have to beat computerized opposing factions. If you are in war mode, you have to play other PvP players, so fantastic times there. And it's literally a race for Azerite. You kill NPCs, different enemies, you find and solve puzzles, you do these like trap type things, and they all give you Azerite. And if you win, you get a decent chunk of Azerite, high fives all around. If you lose, you still get Azerite, but it just doesn't feel as good. Now, there's a few different difficulties. You know, you got normal, heroic, mythic, which requires a party of three players, and then PvP. Okay, so what do you get if you've done with this? Well, you get 2,500 artifact power, which is great. You also get 1,500 Seventh Legion or Honorbound rep. That's a big deal, guys. So if you do, like this week, for instance, if I were to do this plus my um, world quest, I would get 3,000 rep, not to mention 75 for every single little guy we have over here. 75, 75, 75, 75, you know, all the way down, all the way down the list. So that's a potential at like 6K rep. Now they've recently added in something extra with Warfronts, okay? Now with Warfronts, they've added in these nice little things, Warfront contribution. Now, if you're Horde, you've already accomplished this once by the time this video is up. You guys have already done your Warfront contribution. The Alliance are getting it for the second time this upcoming week. Now, they give you 100... Uh, I wonder if that's a typo, because that's 15,000 reputation. Uh, let's take a look. I wonder if it's 15,000 because I'm already exalted. When I originally picked this quest up, it said 150. Because if that's 15,000, that's like a full bar. Like, that's a full, like, rank. That's like going from honored to revered in one little go. Uh, let's find out. Let's see. So let's make a... I don't have any of that. Let's make a donation to someone. I don't have any of that. Where, who has something I can donate? Alchemy. No, I don't have any of that. I've already made my donation, so let's see what we got. Nope, none of that. Come on, friends. Uh, what do you got? Monolite? Nope. Don't have any of that. Coarse leather. Don't have any of that. God, I suck, guys. So I've already <laughs> I've already donated my stuff. Um, I'll probably have to go out and do some mining in order to get a few things. But um, I will definitely update you and let you know how it goes. Oh, dual crafting. Oh, here we go. Let's give it a shot. So you get Azerite. get 500 Azerite, And... Ta -ta um, let's take a look. Warfront contribution. So it's 150. Okay, so it is 150, guys. So, but that's still, that's that's a nice little chunk. And that's on top of everything else. It looks like it could be possibly maybe a daily. 
Um, when you contribute to these guys, you don't really get anything, so don't expect anything from them. It's kind of annoying. Um, and then once the Warfront gets kicked off, your 7th Legion, your Honor Bound, you guys are going to get a ton of rep from that. So bank on that. Look forward to that. But honestly, guys, that's about it. They made the 7th Legion and the Honor Bound ones fairly... I don't want to say difficult, but drawn out on purpose. So you can't buy contracts, for instance, for 7th Legion or Honorbound. You have no enchantments. You have no way of boosting that reputation outside of doing things like the Warfront, doing things like the World Quests, and doing the Expedition Table down here on the end. But really, guys, once you get it, though, the nice thing is rest in peace that you never have to go to the opposite continent again. I don't have to go to Zandalar again unless there's something specific that I need. Now, looking through what you get, right, you get this really cool looking tabard. You can't really see it because my beard, which is great. Uh, you get a little siege tower. You get these bracers, some legs, and a cloak. You get a whole bunch of recipes, thanks for crafting. Um, I got my nice little amber blaze loop there. But it's a good, good faction to go into. You get access to Dark Dwarf, Dark Iron Dwarves. That's about it. So guys, I'm done rambling. That is how you can kind of boost your 7th Legion honor bound rep and how to get there quicker. It's all about consistency. It's all about devotion. And I'm sorry I, didn't, I don't have a surefire, here's how you do it to cut down X amount of hours, but it just doesn't exist. Blizzard was smart this time around. Sorry guys. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Curious what you guys have to say about this video. And I will talk to y'all later. People in